Hey yo, you guys, it's Tyler Works Plus Five here and I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the Call of Duty Vanguard campaign trailer. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a very big campaign advocate. I play every Call of Duty campaign before I even touch the multiplayer. There's been a few Call of Duties where I touch the multiplayer halfway through the campaign or whatever, just because it's really long and I wanna get used to the game and everything. But I like getting used to the story of things, so I'm excited to look into this Call of Duty Vanguard trailer. Uh, it came out October 11th, so two days f ago from when I'm recording this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and please leave a like if you do. So let's see here. The Okay, I mean, it doesn't have that many views, I guess. This is on GameSpot, though, so maybe... Maybe the actual Call of Duty tra channel has uh, more views and stuff, but uh, let's check this out here. All right. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. Okay. After years of fighting, the war had shaped us all. But the work wasn't over yet. The SOE put me in charge of a new team, handpicked for a top secret mission. I'd led soldiers before, but this group were far more than that. Lucas was an expert demolitionist who had issues with authority. Okay. Wade was the most dangerous thing in the skies. And he never let you forget it. Helena was the best sniper in Russia. She wanted nothing but vengeance. Richard was my right hand. He always had my back. We were aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. I actually like how good the graphics look. I don't know if this is actual gameplay or not, but I feel like it should be. Something great to the Fourth Reich. Freisinger is leaving Berlin. He's taking okay. the underground. Christ, what is that smell? It's the smell of death. Huh. So the Fourth Reich. I just I just caught on to that. The Fourth Reich. That's interesting. We can end this. Bury the Reich for good. Glory is worth nothing. When you are dead. This fight. It matters. Iwo Jima? Okay. Oh. Alright, so final thoughts on this. I, I didn't really say much during it because it's only 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. But it didn't really show us too much of like what their course would take story-wise. It showed us more of the characters that we'll be introduced to. Uh, which is fine. That's fine. The characters look fine. I just hope it has really good writing so that it's not like every other Call of Duty. I remember uh, Cold War felt pretty good in the beginning, but then it just turned into every other Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty is the same every year, and that's how it is. I just am hoping for one of these Call of Duties at some point to change it up a bit. Um, in this, it sounds like we're going to be following like three or four different characters uh, going into their stories. Which kind of reminds me of uh, Battlefield 5. I don't know if you guys have played the Battlefield 5 campaign. Or Battle Battlefield 1 as well. Both of those games, they each had like different stories um, with each character. So I don't know. It, it, it's kind of similar to that is what it looks like. Because um, in Battlefield, there was a pilot. There was a tank person. Tank engineer. And a few other characters I haven't played in years though. But yeah, otherwise it looks okay for now. I can't tell you guys my honest opinion until I actually play it. But if you guys want to see me actually play it, please leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. That's just the drugs. Don't they make you feel numb? You can't feel it all. Maybe if we loved